Hi friends, so I'm still trying to figure out how to film with my new room set up, but I think this is pretty on par with how it used to be. I literally used to sit this way at the end of my bed. Now I'm on my bed. So today we have a Shein Black Friday haul. Lots of my boarding school bitch kind of attire. And then I have a few items that are like home decor. So got a big pile of clothes here. I got a dog here. Let's jump in, okay? I had to change the angle just because the light was going in and out and I don't know if it's noticeable to you, but it was noticeable to me. So we're getting this angle with my hamper of dirty clothes in the back. Anyways, this isn't boarding school bitch, but this is so on trend. I see a lot of girls on Instagram wearing mesh and I'm like, I need to hop on. And when I saw this like marbly tie dye pattern, I was like, you have to be mine. So this is a mesh bodysuit in this gorgeous pink and purple kind of pattern obviously see-through um i'll probably never wear it as a true bodysuit i think i'm just gonna like tuck it in to whatever i'm wearing um but it does snap um there's pretty good butt coverage it's not a thong cut but it, i would say it's like more of a cheeky cut i always wear underwear with bodysuits though so i don't really have to worry about it going anywhere but like in case you're just gonna free ball it with a bodysuit um just now it might go places. So as you know, Shein has different sizing from item to item. So just pay attention closely to your measurements and the measurements they use on each item. So I'm usually a 2X, which equates to a 16 in most Shein items. This is a 16. I thought that this fit great. The length was fine. I had no problems buttoning the bottom. There are three buttons here. So if you are going to wear it as a true bodysuit, you're definitely secure in here. And there's a good amount of stretch throughout the mesh. I wore it with just a bra, but if you're not that like daring, you could definitely do a tank top underneath here. But I think this will look so cute with like a fun black bra under here um, and probably like a leather skirt. I got to find mine. If you watch my vlogs, you know I have a whole room filled to the brim with things and all my skirts are in there. So one day I might find it, but I think that as an outfit will be very cute. Um, I think all my hauls should be done after this weekend. So December will definitely be more so of a styling period for me. I shouldn't be spending money in December. So if I can get the motivation, I'll do a styling video with all my new pieces. But yeah, I'm so happy with this. The only thing I think the neck is cut a little too wide. It was kind of collapsing where I felt like it should have been a little bit more on body as a mock neck. Um, but I think if I zhuzh enough, like pull it down in the back, make it a little tighter, um, and just align everything better, it should fit me better on the neck. But if you're worried about, you know, you know, choking or whatever, it is stretchy. You're not going to choke. Um, just know that the neck is a little loose. But yeah, this design was gorgeous and I was so excited when I ordered this. All right, next, a lot of things that are so up my alley and things you can just work together. Um, so the first one is this houndstooth dress. I saw, oh my god, what is her name? It's like southern style mama. She's like a mid-size plus size um, YouTuber, but I really like her and she was wearing this. And I was like, I have to have that. And then I noticed it was already in my cart. I'm like, okay, it looks great on her. Let's see how it'll look on me. So this one is pretty thick, so this will keep you warm. This is very substantial. It's in houndstooth, which I love. This definitely fits in the boarding school bitch, like, theme that I love and it has a zip in the back and pockets on the front. You can wear this just like this. I would probably layer a black mock neck under here or one of my white button downs that I just got um, just to really tie in the like prep school kind of look. But I think this fit really good on body. I think I got, the, yeah, I got this in a 2XL. I maybe could have went down to a 1X just for a more on body kind of fit. I definitely had extra room in here. So it is good if you want to layer, but I definitely had like room to move, which is good. But if you wanted more um, of a cut that would maybe hug your curves, like if you have a waist, which I don't, I would say you could probably go down um, so it'll fit better on body and just kind of look a little bit more sleek. Um, this doesn't have stretch though, so you do run that risk. But now that I know, like if you are my size or very similar, I could probably go one size down, but I am very happy with the 2X. I'm not gonna exchange or anything. Um, super happy with this. And it will pair very well with a white button down. So the next item, it's actually the next like two items. I saw Steph Corallo wearing on her Instagram. Steph Corallo is a plus size YouTuber. I would say mid-size, um, but she is on YouTube and Instagram, but I saw her wearing this outfit on Instagram, immediately went to her like to know it, added things to my cart. So Steph, I hope you got some kind of kickback, um, but 
I had to have it. So I am heavily influenced by other girls and I hope I have some kind of influence on you guys, but like Steph rocked this outfit, so I had to have it. So the base is a white button down shirt dress. Now, when I was doing the try on yesterday, something was in the air. The static cling in my house was at 100%. All of Betty's hairs were standing up. My hair was like this all day. So this dress is clinging to my non-existent ass in the try on portions, but trust me, it flows a lot better than how it looked in the try on. Like I was doing the hairspray. I didn't know, tell me your static cling remedies, but I was, I was trying, but there was something in the air in my house yesterday. Um, Anyways, um, this will fit like a dress and it's not super billowy that it's like you're getting lost in it. Like true, nice shirt dress kind of fit. It's also not tight anywhere, which was good. Great thing about this, um, the buttons, like that telltale gap that's usually right here, it laid flat. So you won't get the weird gap. There is about six inches at the bottom where it's open after the last button. I, if I was gonna wear it as like a true shirt dress, um, I would probably one, wear tights with little shorts so I have protection here. But if you're nervous about that like flap, that last six inches, fashion tape will easily hold that shut. But yeah, this is like the perfect base item. So this can go with so many different things, um, but Steph had this vest, so I had to pop them together. But I did get this shirt in a 2X, which is a 16, and it was the perfect like oversized shirt dress fit. Okay. Moving on to the sweater vest. I feel like these had a moment a year ago, but I do think they're a timeless kind of look. Um, this one is kind of long, which I like. When I saw this on Steph, I saw that it hit her very long, like probably right under the butt. I'm like, okay, that's perfect, especially for the way she was wearing it and how I wanna wear it with the shirt dress because like I said, I would probably wanna wear it with tights and you know, it might get see-through. So I just want an extra layer of butt coverage. And this is very long. It has slits at the bottom so you're not like cupcaked in there because sometimes that cling around your, you know, your waist or your but you know, it's not gonna sit right, but this will lay open and just lay on top of the shirt dress instead of like sucking you into it. This also had a pretty loose fit, so it wasn't tight on top of another layer, but it also wasn't oversized. It laid right on top as it should. I've had a very long road with finding layering pieces, um, but these all sat on me exactly how I wanted them to. I also got this in a 2X, 16 and this can be paired with a lot of other things too you can wear this with jeans you can wear it with the shirt dress there's a lot of different ways to wear the vest so an easy layering piece okay I was just on a roll with white button-ups so I picked up another one but this one has um, stripes that's a word this one has stripes and every other one is sheer so I knew going in that this would be a sheer top like this is not like wear to a job interview kind of top. Um, but this is like going out with friends, layering. This could be a great third piece. This is also very long. So if you wanted to do an outfit that's like jeans, a tank, and then this opened up over it, I think that's a cute look. I like shirts like this as a beach cover up. They're light, they're airy, they're long enough to cover your butt. You can also unbutton, tie it up if you want to wear it with shorts or something. There's a lot of different ways to wear this too. So another easy layering piece, closet staple, but I did like the sheer stripes, something different. This one's also in a 2X. All right, next, I've mentioned in the past that I don't have a ton of tops to just throw on, like someone's outside, like, hey, we're going to dinner now, like you need to throw on something. So I picked up this top, very similar to the ones I recently got. So a surplus top, well, so surplus is that crisscross action. I really like the embroidery on here, it gives it some depth, it's not just a plain white top. This one is, I would say a cream and off-white um, color, billowy sleeves, a little bit of a, I wouldn't say baby doll, but I also wouldn't say peplum, but it's gonna come in at the waist and flow out at the bottom. I didn't look pregnant. It just flowed over my gut very nicely. That is like my biggest area. So for anything to flow right over it, that's good for me. Also, I didn't feel too booby. You are gonna be booby in a surplus top, but I didn't feel like I was like, whoa, you know, I would wear this around my grandma. But if you felt it was kind of too booby on me, you can always pop on a tank top underneath. Um, but I just think this is a nice, easy, you could do casual, I would wear this to work, um, but just a nice, easy top, something I don't have too much of. And this one's also in a 2X. Okay, finally, kind of a departure from the other items. I just want more easy gym tops. I like to work out in tank tops, but a big t-shirt is probably like 
the next thing down for me. So I saw this tie-dye t-shirt. I've already worn this a few times. Um, and I was like, this is perfect. This is up my alley. I'll wear this to spin class like all the time. I've also been lounging in it. I've been sleeping in it. Like this is just an easy big t-shirt. So this one is in a 3XL. I knew I wanted a big cut. This is pretty big. Um, I would say it's not as soft as I thought it would be. This is just a regular cotton t-shirt, but not uncomfortable in any way. But I really like the tie-dye on this. They had a few different color options, but this one spoke to me. So this is perfect for me and what I need it for. And I couldn't say no to the tie-dye. Okay, next we have a few home decor items. I'm looking at them. It's like, okay, girl, you like pink obviously um so we'll start with this so this is a tiny little rug and i feel like there's so many videos of people ordering things thinking that this is gonna like fill their whole room and then they're like and this is what i got no i measured i knew exactly what i wanted and i wanted a tiny little rug so betty does not like walking on hardwood floors and there's a good couple feet of uh from my door so you get to my rug where it's hardwood. So I was like, okay, we'll put a teeny tiny rug there and Betty will step on and, you know, learn. And she's learning very slowly, but she's getting there. So this was just a little stepping pad for Betty, but it fits into my room very nicely. I do have a chevron rug, um, black and white in my room, but it fits with the theme. So this isn't like too weird for me to have this on the floor. I can also see this working if you have like a little stool that you do your makeup on, putting this under that, that would be cute. But it's super soft, exactly the size I needed. It fits in my room and it's helping Betty get in and out of here. Okay, next, I have wanted one of these for so long and it's always in my cart and I'm like, nah, I won't do it. But this time I finally did it and they had a few sizes. So it is a like a little light. Um, and it lights up, you won't be able to see it right now, but it's gonna change colors from like blue to yellow, green, purple. Um, so I took a clip when I did it at night when I first set it up. I love the glow this gives my room. This is so cool. Um, and it was $3, so why not have a fun little thing in your room? Or if you have kids, I think your kids are gonna love this, having this in their room. Um, so a nice little glow light. But like I said, they did have different sizes. I think one gets like this big, but I think this size is perfect for what I need. And the glow it gave off, I have a pretty big room. It was filling the whole room. It was very bright. I thought it'd be maybe like a little like illuminating. No, like full power, like Disney style kind of lights. So I thought this was so cool. I would say the hardest part was putting this together, but if I can do it, anyone can. So, so happy with this. Okay, next I got a little vase. I'm pre-planning what I want my San Diego apartment to look like. So I've had things with this kind of style in many wish lists throughout the internet. So when I saw this on Shein, I was like, okay, let's try it out, see how it works in the pink room. I don't know the color scheme I want to go for in the future, but I was like, a gold will never steer you wrong. Um, my sister saw this on my nightstand. She's like, what is that Bunsen burner? So there is a little like test tube thing um, to hold whatever you're gonna put in here. So faux flowers, real flowers. I got this thing. It's not a Fifty Shades toy. It is um, pompous grass. Um, so this is also from Shein. They had this in many different colors, but I went for this dusty pink because once again, it fits the room theme. So it fits in there perfectly. Um, but yeah, faux flowers, real flowers, easy decor, things like this. So picked up both of these from Shein and I think they go really well together. Okay, that's everything I got from Shein for Black Friday slash Cyber Monday. Their sales are live right now. So hop on it because some of these items tend to sell out. So if you wanted anything in this haul, now's the time to get it. All the links are down below. I do have a promo code. So I have a regular promo code that's like Shannon M, but there's a special Black Friday code down below, or I'll put it right here, but a special Black Friday code. So it'll be deals on top of deals, and that's a cheap girl win. Also, don't forget to use Rakuten. It's a cashback website at no cost to you. So I have a referral link down below. Please use that because I make no money on YouTube. So use that Rakuten referral link down below. Shein is on Rakuten. So not only you're getting Shein deals and then my Black Friday promo code, Rakuten is giving you 6% cash back. So think of it as another discount. So deals on deals on deals. Don't forget to use Rakuten. If you already use it, hit up the website and get your cash back. So just want to help you save money even though we're spending a lot right now. I do have a ton of more hauls. Was that grammatically correct? No, but I do have a lot more hauls. So after this, you will see Fashion Nova, 
uh, Bloom Chic. I have another Shein on the way. And then some things that I've been picking up throughout the month or throughout Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales. So there'll be a lot of hauls. But then, I, like I said, December, I'm going to rein it in and maybe do some styling videos if I can let my brain work that way. So thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to use the codes. Don't forget to use the links. It's all down there. And I will see you very soon. Bye.